Welcome to today's episode of the Harpreet Singh Show. In today's segment, we're going to talk to Dr. Thomas Jackson. He's a doctor in lifestyle medicine, and he's going to let us know how to have better health and better life. Let's welcome Dr. Jackson. Welcome mm -hmm. to the program. My pleasure, Harpreet. Same here. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So a little bit about yourself. Uh, it's the first time I'm hearing a doctor in uh, you know, lifestyle medicine. Yeah. So what is this uh, particular field? Well, lifestyle medicine has now become very prevalent, especially within North America, right. because the emphasis is on preventive. Mm -hmm. And we find that we live in a system where it's more disease-oriented, right. uh, interventional. But we realize that in order to help people to live a he healthy life, there need to be education in the area how to take care or take ownership right. and responsibility for their own physical health. Okay. So lifestyle medicine is simply teaching people how to apply principles, okay. lifestyle principles, to uh -huh. their lives. Okay, yeah. and what inspired you to take up this particular issue? That's a good question, and uh, make it very quickly, that I had a battle with uh, a very crippling disease, okay. arthritis. Oh. Now, within North America, it affects something like the United States, 55 something like a million people. Right. So my, con my condition was clinically diagnosed at the age of 17. Mm -hmm. So it lasted until I was 27. Okay. And I was in a pursuit of a professional career as a basketball player. Right. And uh, that stopped my career, kept me out of the Army, which, you know, uh, I was more concerned with going into the sports. Mm -hmm. And I was told medically that there was no cause, no remedy, mm -hmm. and therefore I'll have to live with this disease, take medication for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. And I was in my probably uh, middle 20s, still at the height of my life. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, uh, I became very depressed mm -hmm. and uh, angry. Right. And that's when my journey began. Right. I began to uh, really make some soul searching things mm -hmm. as far as my life, my spiritual journey, et right. cetera. But not thinking that I would have some answer for my health. Right. So I went into the Bible, mm -hmm. and the Old Testament, and I began to read and study from a spiritual perspective. Right. But my journey then began, not mm -hmm. only from a spiritual, but it started connecting the physical laws of health. And in that, in that journey in the Bible, I began to uncover some principles that apply to our physical existence. Okay. And that's how my journey began. And in that study, I found the very cause mm -hmm. of disease. Wow. And when was this, uh, when it started? This started 40 years ago. Wow. <laughs> it's <laughs> a little over 40 time. years. I'm about 64 now. Right. And I would say, you know, close to probably about 30, I would say 35 years right. ago. Right. Well, 35. at that time, well, you were, you did that soul searching and started it on this process. But right now, uh, as you very rightly said, in North America and even in the world, right now we are sitting at the edge of a disaster. Most definitely. As far as our healths are concerned. So, so let's talk a little bit about in during these years, what are you finding? Like technologically, we have advanced so much, mm -hmm. but uh, spiritually and physically, yeah. we are going down and down. Yeah. And in this pursuit, that rat race, what we are running, uh, it's ultimately affecting us uh, wholly. Yes, we, we suffer as a result of the conveniences we have. Mm -hmm. Technology is a wonderful thing. Right. Case in point, uh, in 1945, mm -hmm. one out of 15 people within the Western world, especially in North America and country, were dying of cancer. That's only one out of 15. Okay. That's in 1945. Okay. Now, in 2012, mm -hmm. Aubrey, there are one out of four wow. are dying. Now, you mentioned, you alluded to the fact we have advanced, knowledge and technology, mm -hmm. more sophisticated uh, medical and uh, um, um, uh, equipment and tools, uh, a very high educated populace, and that's not a combination to the people. Right. Here in BC, British mm -hmm. Columbia, where the world disease rate, heart disease, but cancer is number one right. in BC. Right. Okay? So, I just left a country called South America mm -hmm. and was speaking to the medical community. Uh, within the Western world, they're number 23 on diabetes. I'm coming to a point. Okay. And they have high incidence of diabetes. As mm. I travel that country, talking, working with the people, there's a thin, uh, there's a thread that flows through. I call it lifestyle. Right. Lifestyle is simply this, is that how we take care of ourselves, mm -hmm. what we eat, what we drink, 
how we think. That's right. Are you following me? Mm -hmm. These are tools, as, I mean, these are valuable qualities of life right. that we have not been educated mm -hmm. in regards. I trust my life to someone else. That's right. Absolutely. And there, there's a place for the academic, uh, the academic uh, the, uh, many, uh, commu community, the scholastic community, mm -hmm. but the average person need to be educated That's very true. in regards to the laws that govern a physical being and a spiritual being. And they have been created with the ability to discriminate between right, right and wrong. Absolutely. So and that's why we're here to educate because that was my experience. Right. Is to find out how important is, is sleep, our emotional, mm -hmm. our eating, right. our exercise. Mm -hmm. And these things are becoming very knowledge, I mean, aware now, but we are not really buying into it because the average lay person mm -hmm. feel like they're not intelligent enough to understand these things. And that's right, and the market pulls them and their thought process, as you very rightly said, is just uh, on the basis of what they are seeing. That's right. And that's what they believe, and then ultimately, now with the food also, the, how we have tampered with the GMO and everything, that's absolutely it's right. affecting us. That's so so wh what are you finding out right now, mm -hmm. uh, educating the public and creating that awareness? Mm -hmm. Basically, and you emphasized upon in the initial steps that preventive, Prevention right. is better than cure. That's right. So <laughs> what are you seeing and what needs to be done now? I see education. Right. I see that need to be a, a, uh, as, a as we say, that a, a concerted, mm -hmm. intentional purpose of right. educating people mm -hmm. in regards to how to take full responsibility of the principles that I outline, which mm -hmm. I believe uh, I found in the Bible. They, mm -hmm. they are simple eight steps that I teach in people right. in prevention. You know, first of all, developing a trust relationship okay. because we are bombarded. All of us have stress, but it's how we respond to that stress. Mm -hmm. You know, the exercise, the water. So I find in my 35 years of dealing with people that the principles that have been laid down are so simple, mm -hmm. but people just say, well, just simply drinking water, case in point. I had arthritis for 10 years. Right. So there was no known cause, they say. Mm -hmm. But when I went into the Bible, there's a statement in the Bible, in Proverbs 26, 2, it says, the curse causes should not come. Mm -hmm. That means, as you know, for every effect, there's a cause. Right. And so when I began to do some study, and I read in, in, in the Testament about water, mm -hmm. that if a person don't drink water, this is in the Old Testament, Isaiah 44, 12, you faint. So I began to do study with water, just showing you a principle. Okay. I discovered that our body is over 80% water. water yeah. Our brain is 80% water. Yeah. Now, I believe that the body was created by a wonderful God. Mm -hmm. And the body was created to heal itself. Right. If you remove the obstruction, mm -hmm. and so God has put within the body compensation mechanism. Right. Case in point, when I become dehydrated, mm -hmm. not enough water, the body must pull from its resources to compensate for that. Right. So one of the places I had arthritis that the mm -hmm. body did is pull from my joints. Right. So I start pulling water from my joints. Mm -hmm. Now my joints become stiff. Mm -hmm. That's just just drinking water. Right. So I'm teaching people how to access these simple principles. Okay. And that's something powerful about those principles. Wonderful. We'll continue with the discussion. Yeah. Let's go for a small break. Yeah. Uh, we'll go and come after the small break and talk to Dr. Jackson about how our lifestyle can make a lot of difference in our life and why there is a direct need right now to understand and educate ourselves to live a better life.